Duality Unleashed. I'm Vern Trimble, and I'm joined again by Richard Jones. What's up, Rich? How you doing today? Good, Vern. Good. Looking forward to our chat. Me too. I am so excited. We have a really special podcast episode for you today. Today, we are going to be talking about the CMO State of the Union, a new exclusive report produced by Wonderkent that we're delivering to you guys for the first time uh, here uh, at Wonderkent. Rich, we're really excited about this. You know, we learned a lot from this research. Curious if you could just give us a really quick snapshot about what the CMO State of the Union is and what our listeners and viewers can expect. Yeah, so Wonderkin surveyed over 100 marketing leaders from top B2C brands to get their outlook on the current marketing landscape. Now, we learned that the challenges we've all faced over the last several years have pushed marketers to ditch the status quo and go back to the drawing board, paving the way for perhaps a whole new golden age of marketing, which is why I'm wearing this rather fabulous trilby. It is absolutely fabulous. And I cannot wait for people. I've seen some sneak peeks. It is phenomenal, guys. And we're really excited to show you this new content. And you know, I, I'm, I also am curious to hear about your thoughts on the current state of marketing and why the CMO State of the Union is such a relevant piece of content right now. Uh, so Joe, to kick us off, can you talk about the current state at play and what recent changes uh, we've seen in the market? Yeah, I mean, it, it's fair to say that the world has transformed beyond recognition over the past couple of years. Yes. Marketers have, have been forced to throw out the playbooks and reassess their priorities. Uh, 94% of the CMOs that we surveyed look at the last two years as a turning point. The COVID-19 pandemic, war in Ukraine, Ukraine, supply chain issues, and inflation have left marketing teams in the world scrambling to keep up with this near constant change in consumer behaviors, technology, and market economics. And economic challenges and the upcoming recession will certainly have an impact on marketing budgets and strategies going forward, with marketers and consumers alike feeling the pinch. So it's pretty good time to get research that's going to help you navigate some of those challenges. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Rich. And this is so, oh my gosh, even just that one, the, the tidbits that you just shared with us are so good. Uh, again, with, with our podcast, we want to deliver valuable insights uh, that are relevant right now uh, to our audience and to, to marketers. And I like the findings from this report that we've synthesized uh, in this report and in this webinar are absolutely fantastic. We can't wait for you guys to check it out. But you mentioned budgets. I want to I want to dive into that just a little bit. Um, so specifically for online marketing budgets, our research highlighted that 71% of CMOs are planning to reduce their online marketing spend in the near future. What are your thoughts, Rich, on the best way to deal with the seemingly inevitable budget cuts? Marketers need to find new ways to maintain digital revenue, that's for sure, even if their online marketing spend has been reduced. And that's not easy. But if your budget has been cut, you can't afford to waste dollars on traffic that won't convert. Lower budgets combined with lack of attribution mean CMOs will need to focus more on what matters and make sure that they're not going after vanity metrics and, and ditch non-performing channels in favor of finding new ways to drive sustainable growth. Perhaps most importantly, we saw from the research is that marketers need the knowledge and tools to turn the traffic and interactions they are driving online into a sustainable source of revenue, especially with the loss of third-party cookies looming around the corner. Now, most companies can only identify 5% of the traffic that they drive to their site, with 95% not converting and not identified. And with advertising costs increasing dramatically on platforms like Facebook and Google, the traffic that you do drive to your own channels has to convert much more efficiently, particularly in a recession. Unfortunately, this is something that the webinar covers in detail. That's that's phenomenal, Rich. You know, another thing that came through from the research and from the CMOs that we were that we that you were ch chatting with was the resurgence of brand and creative. Like it truly is just this returning to this this era, this golden age. What right. are your thoughts on that, and how did it influence the the making of this webinar? Yeah, I mean, it, it really is an interesting uh, point here. I mean, with all this disruption in advertising and privacy and the associated tracking and attribution challenges that it's given marketers, it's definitely clear that CMOs are getting back to basics, right? And there is much more focus 
on brand and creative storytelling and creative itself than perhaps in recent years. In fact, we made that a creative theme of the webinar itself with this kind of madman-esque style where we were playing off the golden age of advertising and, you know, kind of forward projecting that to a golden age of marketing, hopefully. And so the question really is, is whether all of this rebalancing and the le level of art and science in involved in marketing could be heralding a new golden age. We'll see. That's phenomenal. So for those of you that are listening, I would advise you pause the podcast here and go and see the vlog, the video podcast rather, to check this out. Because we're going to show you a sneak peek uh, of the CMO State of the Union where you can check out Rich and his phenomenal acting skills. I say like he, he missed his calling. Like he looks great on camera. Clark, Clark Gable vibes going on. But check it out real quick, guys, and join us back on the other side. Are we returning to a new golden age of marketing where we rebalance the art and science involved. Wonderkin research shows the majority of CMOs look upon the last two years as a turning point. Access our exclusive CMO State of the Union report to learn how marketers can succeed in this exciting new era. Dude, like, that's dope. Like, I've never seen a webinar like that before, Rich. And I'm, I'm so excited that we get to bring this to our audience. Real quick, I want to plug that. You can sign up for the webinar today. It's going to uh, take place October 26th. So you absolutely want to make sure that you get your place in line. Uh, but, but Rich, like, tell me about this experience. Like, it, it was so cool to see you in this format. Tell me about, uh, tell me about it. I mean, look, it was it was definitely a lot of fun to shoot to, you know, recreate uh, a bit of the Mad Men esque uh, kind of era, uh, dress up, you know, wear the wear the hats and stuff was was a lot of fun. But the the reality is the webinar, you know, it's not about that. It's about the quality of advice uh, from the many amazing marketers that we had participate. I mean, just to name a few: uh, Amanda Bott, VP of North America at Kate Spade. Uh, T.R. Wilhout, VP of e-commerce at Casemate, and Sean Patel, VP of growth of marketing at JLo Beauty, amongst a number of other fantastic, fantastic marketers. So ultimately, they are the star of the show. The advice that they, they give us all uh, is, the, is the real value for, for tuning in. So make sure you do. Oh, Rich, I couldn't have said it better myself. And the quality of the brands and the thought leaders that participated in this webinar, like I literally cannot stand how excited I am for our listeners and viewers to check out this webinar and be filled uh, to the brim with the knowledge and the insight and the wisdom that these marketers have to offer them. And yeah, one thing, one thing, Vern, I would say that for anybody, you know, if you come to, if you sign up for the webinar, you're going to get a complimentary free report with all of the findings uh, from yes. the CMO State of the Union. So there's a double reason to make sure that you tune into the webinar. That's so good. You will be entertained and educated. I mean, like it's it's a it's a double whammy. It's a perfect combination. Uh, so so like I said again, guys, if you want more information about Wonderkent, please go to our website at wonderkent.co. That's wonderkent.co. We would love to be able to stay in contact with you. Check out more of our podcast episodes. Download resources, white papers. Check out our blog posts. And again, sign up for the webinar October twenty sixth, so you can get your front row seat to check out this world premiere. Again, my name is Vern Trumbull. That's individuality. Unleashed. Unleashed.